Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Waga. We are going to continue with our series of videos looking at various views in SwiftUI. And um, what we're going to look at today is the picker. The picker basically acts like a date picker, which we have seen. And what it does is that it shows um, it shows the various items in an array in a sort of picker. Um, yeah, I know I'm using the word again, but let's see it. First off, um, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more content like this where we'll be looking at uh, views in SwiftUI. So let's get to work. First things first, we could come here and we could get rid of this hello world. And we could have a vstack. Let's use a vstack. A vstack is a vertical stack. Covered it before. And we could give it a bit of spacing in its initializer. And for that, we could say spacing like so. Give it a spacing of about 30. Come down here and um, let's put the text at the top. We could say text. This is going to be a picker like so. And um, we could have a font here and it's going to be, uh, the modifier is going to be large title. That's the largest uh, largest available predefined font. Yeah, predefined. Uh, we're not seeing it. Okay, now we can see it picker like so. And um, after that, we could come down here and create a picker. And for, for us to create a picker, we need to create a state variable, which will notify um, this view so that it can reload when somebody scrolls to something else on the picker. And what we can do is we can set it with the initial view, what we want it, what we want to be the first thing on the picker. And for that, we could say at state, and we could say private var. And our picker is going to be made up of footballers who have won the our, the Ballon d'Or. The Ballon d'Or is a footballing award, if you are not aware of it. The current winner is, the last person to win it, rather, is Lionel Messi. And um, so we're going to have a picker here, and we're going to have a selection. Selection, and then we're going to bind it to our state variable, as you'd expect. And here, I we go for footballer, like so. And it's going to have a label. You can turn on and turn off the label. I'll show you how to turn it off in a bit. And the label is going to be um, a text. And the text is going to be Ballon, Ballon d'Or, like so. And after that, we're going to have now the various items in um, the picker. The first text is going to be um, messy. And we're going to add a tag. And the tag here is going to be messy. The tag can be a Boolean. It can be uh, an integer, and it can also be a uh, string. So here we could have messy. I'll show you how we can use maybe uh, an integer. We could say messy. Um, we could have another text here and say Ronaldo, Ronaldo. And then we're going to tag here and we say Ronaldo, like so. And another person who has won the award is... Um, I believe the last person to win it in the past like 11 years who is not Messi or Ronaldo is Luka Modric of, of Real Madrid, former Ronaldo teammate, is Modric, like so, and this is Modric, and another person who has won it also is, what's his name, uh, Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho, when he was at Barcelona, uh, in case you haven't guessed it, I'm a big football fan. And we say tag, and this is going to be Ronald Dino, like so. And we try again so that we can see our results. And how come I can't see it? Okay, so we have the picker here, and let's see it on our simulator. Yeah, it's now ready. And so we have the picker, and you see it starts with Messi, Ronaldo, Modric. We can change this and make this, um, let's make it. Ronaldo, like so. And if we save it and come back, we should see, I believe, more or less Ronaldo. So it starts off with Ronaldo. You can also set it as a number. We could come here and say tag one and replace this. Instead of Messi, make it one and make this two and make this three, like so, and make it tag four. So you could use numbers of strings, right? As the tags. Um, where is it? Let's just build it again and come back. And we should see it starts with number one, who is Messi. And yeah, so that's how you set up a picker. Let's continue. 
The next thing is if, for example, we want to to hide the the label, and it's just like in a date picker. What you do is you come to the picker and you add a modifier saying hidden, which is labels hidden, like so. And as you can see, the Ballon d'Or label will disappear. Another thing we could do is we could bind um, the rows to an array of data or to data. And we can also customize this row a bit by putting, uh, we could use an image. In our case, we'd use a system image. So for that, first thing we could do is we could come to the top here, like so, and we could create the array of footballers. We could just recreate the same example with an array. So we could say footballers, like so, and make it an array. We could come here and say Messi, um, Ronaldo, Modric, Modric, and Ronaldinho. Like so. That is, um, yeah, we could use that. And then we'll still use this variable like so. But we can get rid of these names here. We could get rid of the names like that. And then we're going to use a for each speaker, a for, for each. But first, uh, we need to create a struct here, which we can then reuse as a view. So we could come here and say struct, and it's going to be a row. This is a view. And it's going to have a field, which is going to be, we could say, the name is of type string, like so. And after that, we're going to have the body, the body, which is, and this is a view, a sum view. And it's going to have a hashtag because the image is going to be right next to the name, right? So we're going to have a hashtag. And um, the image is going to be from SF symbols, and our image is going to be globe. The, Ballon d'Or, oh, I think it's Ball of the World or something. Uh, my French is not as good. Um, so that's why we're having a globe there. And then the text is going to be the name. And its tag is also going to be, tag is going to be, as you expect, the name, like so. Now we can come back here. And um, for the label, we're going to have a text. Uh, the selection is still going to be tied to this footballer. And it's going to start with Ronaldo. The label in question is going to be a text and um, it could be footballers like so and then we're going to use a for each inside here we've, we've, we've seen for each in a in a previous video and it's going to take the array of footballers like so and we need to identify to get an ID for each and we can just use dot forward slash, I uh, know it's supposed to be forward slash dot self, like so, and in here we need name in, and then we use this row, we could say row, and the row requires a name, right, name, and the name is going to be the name we pass in, like so, and why, why is it complaining, uh, because the picker is not, we forgot to do this here, like so, and everything is fine, I'm guessing. Um, there seems to be an error. We need to put a space between uh, the equal sign and the array, like so. So we do this. So basically, this should work extraneous. Okay, let's delete this. We seem to have another error. Let's delete this. And what's the error? Okay. I think we've deleted that. And we should try now. Build failed. Expected instruct, okay. Yeah, I think now, now everything is as it should be. And the build has succeeded. And we have Ronaldo and the globe next to him. And Modric, and we can pick it. That's how you would bind data. You'd come here, create the array, use a for each down here. And also we can, we can reuse the row view so that we can show the, the various rows. So for each row, for each name in the array, it will have a row, and the name will be passed as the name. So that's what we have here. Let me just resume so you can see it on the preview. Yeah, so basically that. That's how you deal with the picker, and that's all about picker. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more, um, more videos like this.